What's up guys, we're back here on our road to Dark Aether on our second account and in our last video our top comment was from Cam and a few others saying that we should get the M79 Gold Viper and that's not what we're going to be doing today. Now back when I started this series, I said when I do the N79, I want to try to go for round 100 and I'm not about to sit here and record for four hours and then try to cut that down. Uh, that's only going to delay the video. I'll probably miss the day of uploading and all that. So I want to do that as a stream. So today instead, we'll be getting another M weapon done, getting the M16 Gold Viper. Real quick, this is my camo progress on the M16 here for the grunge camo. I have 1400 kills with it. So we're going to need a thousand more of just normal kills, which is insane. I think that's the most we've had to do so far. Holy, we need 2,000 crits. We need 1,200 kills while it's packed. Vintage is done. Fauna's done. Topo is almost done. And we still need to unlock infection. Now, I already have this level up to 49. Uh, we should be able to get half a level uh, within our game here. But let's really quick go over the attachments. Uh, I have the Cobra Red Dot. We're switching back to it for this one. I'm going with the SOCOM Eliminator. And for the barrel, I'm using the Strike Team Barrel. I'm pretty sure this is the barrel with the fastest uh, fire rate and extra damage. Uh, the titanium gives more fire rate but no damage and it kills the damage range well, i guess the strike team barrel kills the damage range as well but it does more damage i'm pretty sure this is the best barrel for the m16 but i could be wrong uh we're also going with the ember sighting points that actually have it unlocked this time uh bruiser grip 45 round speed mag oh wait maybe we go with the 54 round let's do that and let's go with the speed tape in the SAS combat stock. I think that's a good enough build. For the M79 comment, they said they wanted me to play on Forsaken, and I'm gonna save that for the M79 stream. Also, make sure you have your notifications on if you wanna see the stream. But I think I'm gonna pick the map, and today I'm gonna play on D Machine. Got a crazy change of development here. I actually wanna play on D Machine. Uh, uh, normally, I, I just get messed up, but hey, we'll try it out. Hey, look, even in the, the, the preview picture, the M16's here. So it was meant to be. All right, here we go. Flying in on Uber Air, or code is messing up don't matter you made it you're safe and uh you guys finally did answer me on uh why no rampage inducer and then i st i still really don't understand but uh you guys said it's because uh weapon xp is cut while using the rampage inducer which is fair but i still feel like you'll get more weapon xp using the rampage inducer because you'll end up going through rounds faster and that xp will add up faster than it would if uh the rampage inducer was off but at the same time i'm not really worried about weapon xp when i come in here to grind camos because i already have it like leveled up to uh, like near 50 so i don't know I, I i guess you guys just aren't too much of a fan of it but if it helps me get camos faster i'm gonna use it with our bloodshed camo 1500 kills just normal we already got that down on round two let's go but uh today at the day i'm recording this i put up my uh, my 100k special the the room tour and i put some like clips from like really really old videos in there so i just want to thank you guys again for all your support you know for coming here chilling watching me for subscribing liking the videos disliking the videos whatever you want to do I, I i'm still just so grateful to be in this position to where i can just play a game talking to a camera and people will just come and watch so again thank you guys this oh wait hold on hold on hold on hold on huge discovery here let me let me not get a headshot every shot is 69 the red M16 with these attachments is a sex machine. Look at that, 69, 69. Oh wait, that's a crit. 69, 69. The so shout out sex. But I think our plan here today is I'm gonna go back to that spot uh, down in uh, the speed cola room. And I'm just gonna grind in there. That was really, really good for getting camos done. I was debating on uh, playing on D machine or Firebase. And I feel like I played a lot of Firebase in my life and discovering that D machine spot or not really discovering it. Well, well not really discovering the spot, but actually using it and seeing how good it is just firsthand. I just need more. If I can get camos that fast. I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna wait. We're gonna sit here until like round eight or so. Wait I have enough money. Actually, the rounds will probably go fast if I sit in penthouse, so I don't care if I lose a few dollars opening these two doors. So we'll chill in here. I feel like we have enough to get dead shot and pack a punch because we're gonna have to open another door to go get dead shot. So once we got all that and we're like good to get our camos going, then I'll turn the rampage inducer on and we can just go chill in that room. Oh, free armor. Let's go. The M16 is still like one of the best weapons in zombies, in my opinion. I really am not a fan of burst weapons. Like I hate using them in multiplayer, but in zombies, the M16 is just insane. Like, this is probably my go-to rifle, even though it's a tack rifle. Speaking of which, I think this is the first tack rifle we're going to be completing. That's pretty cool. We're working on those now. We also have one uh, LMG done as well. But there's probably a good time to say this because I forgot to say it at the start of the video. If you guys want to suggest a weapon for this playthrough, uh, you go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll have a comment there myself of what weapons we've already completed. Uh, if we've completed a series of weapons like ARs and SMGs, I will not be taking any more suggestions for those until we do get Dark Aether. But go ahead. Let me 
me know what weapon you want to see me do. Top comment is the weapon that we do next. And make sure you leave what map you want to do. And if you want to put in attachments or, you know, some other kind of challenge, go for it. Uh, no guarantees on doing whatever challenge it is. Because I've seen some insane ones. I, I saw Slick wanted me to do like, uh, use the M79 uh, with Rampage Inducer on. I can't walk forward or jump. Uh, I can't spawn in with the M79. I have to get it from the box. And then also, I, I can't pack a punch it or buy perks. Like it was like absolutely insane. You guys really just want to see me suffer. So I'm going to take those challenges with a grain of salt going forward. But man, I, I wish there was like a diet rampage inducer, like a rampage inducer light, like a beyond rampage inducer just for in between the rounds, because I hate that long. Like I don't even know how long it is. Probably like 30 seconds, maybe even a minute between there it just feels like the longest time in the world just sitting there waiting for zombies to spawn i wish they could read my mind and know if i needed to go get perks or anything if they're like oh he needs to get perks he needs to buy doors okay yeah uh, we'll we'll give the zombies a second to spawn but when i'm just sitting here i should be like all right well let's just bring him in he's not doing anything and we're at 11k right now making our way down there is going to eat up a lot of our cash and i want to be able to pack a bunch immediately so i'm going to wait and then we'll do the jug easter egg Okay, so maybe I'll save up to like 20k, maybe 25. Because then when we do the jug Easter egg, we'll get jug, which will increase our perk cost. And then we can go, unless we buy Deadshot first. If we buy Deadshot first, we don't. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna save up enough money to get down to Pack Punch. So we're not gonna need to buy the door to get to jug because we're gonna, we're not gonna need to buy the door to get to Deadshot because we're gonna do the jug Easter egg. And during the jug Easter egg, uh, while we're in the dark aether, the wonder fizz will be here. We can run up here, grab dead shot. While we're up here, probably turn on the rampage inducer. We'll grab jug and whatever weapon pops out of the chest, even though we're not going to use it. Then we'll go to our spot and then bunker down. That's the plan. We can also pack a punch during that Easter egg too. So we can get everything done there. That's our, our free time. And there we go, level 50. So now we just need to get our, our jackrabbit medals and that can all be done. But our main thing here is kills. And once we get set up in that spot, we'll be getting a lot of them. I'm going to go ahead and put my prediction in i think we'll be done by around 43 if everything goes well 43 should be a good spot to get out of here because we have a lot of kills to get a lot of headshots too i really need to try to focus up and hold my uh, crosshair a little higher than i am i just hate how the aim assist without dead shot locks on to just nipples instead of dome i mean obviously it makes it makes buying dead shot worth it besides like the damage boost and all that but it, it's so blatant that they they make the aim assist go right in the middle of the chest Joe, just turn off aim assist and then you can get all the headshots manually. Yeah, I'm not that nice on the sticks. I rely so heavily on dead shot. It's ridiculous. All right, I'll, I'll stay here one more round just to make sure I have enough money to do everything I need to. And then we can actually get things rolling. Oh shit, I have like no ammo. When did that happen? Let me loop around here for a second. All right, I'll go buy ammo. And then the first zombie I kill, a max ammo is going to spawn. So watch this. I, I get this max ammo curse constantly, but even more on D-Machina. Go ahead, drop the max ammo. I'm waiting for it. Yup. Look at that. I called it. Why do they do this? Why is this a thing? D I need to make a video on this on how max ammo is literally only in zombies to troll because this is ridiculous. I played this game too much to know not to buy ammo. You literally like if you're playing with friends, have them buy it. Like, hey, uh, you're running low on ammo. Go ahead and buy that. And then a max ammo will spawn. Actually just foul the, the bullshit that they, they put me through in this game. But we have two zombies left. I think that's good enough. We got 22, almost 23K. I think we can make it all the way down. Do the jug Easter egg, get pack punched. All that good stuff. I hope I have enough money though. Because this stuff adds up. Let's grab this loose change. Lay down. Thank you. Plant that. Open up door. And we're going left door gang. Let's grab the loose change from Speed Cola. We're going to open this door. Left door is a lot faster, TBH. You don't have to put an explosive on the, the last door. Actually, I think... Is Deadshot door the first one? Does that open like this? Kind of just sliding up or no? I can't remember. Either way. Let's turn power on. Hit this button. Let's check out the armor stand real quick and get this to green and blue. Let's go double upgrade. That's about all we can do at the moment. And then we can hit our last button here. Wait for the anomaly to spawn in. Actually, can I go get dead shot during the anomaly? Is Wonder Fizz there yet? Or do I have to wait till pack a punch on? I guess we can go find out. I'm gonna try to get these zombies away from the anomaly real quick. Okay. Let's do it. All right, let's really quick try to run up to penthouse and check. I'm not going to mess around with any crystals. Also, necessary to say this every time you're, I, I, I enter the dark aether, it is criminally underused in this game. This is such a cool thing, switching between dimensions and just not having it in any other map or it being very underused in this map is pretty disappointing. But we have our dead shot. I did not... Well, I guess I did mean to kill him, but I didn't think about it when I did it. At least we have... That's why I left two walkers, because or crawlers or zombies like whatever you want to call them so i just know i'm too stupid to not accidentally shoot one all right we opened up the door to our room and got our pack-a-punch part let's go ahead set up the machine 
Go ahead. Let's go. All right, now that we have it, let's go ahead and pack a punch our weapon. And let's start up the Easter egg. That's one. My game is lagging real hard. Two. There's number three. Right down here is four. And we just need this one last one right here. Go ahead, send us through. Let's go. And since we still have 8K and we already pack a punched and got dead shot, like we're basically good to go. I'm going to go up and I'm going to get mule kick that way we don't start running out of ammo so crazily because that's going to be the killer there if we get stuck in that room with no ammo we're done i wonder if they're going to make this uh christmas themed again didn't they put out the lights for last christmas and then they just kind of stayed up or were those there since the map came out i don't remember but here's mule kick uh maybe i'll get oh what should i get oh geez he'll kick soundtrack sounded awful in here but i grabbed quick revive just in case we can have a little insurance policy here and while i'm up here the main thing i needed to do was turn on the rampage inducer there we go oh we got a pup round okay let's grab our free jug i'm surprised i didn't buy jug there i didn't even think about it i honestly would have and we have the ligma shout out ninja i wonder if the rampage inducer affects the the plague hounds it didn't seem like it there but it'd be crazy to see like sprinter plague hounds but now we're all set i'm glad i didn't grab speed cola because i can always grab it from right here but easy ring of fire our megatons already sleep and there's a nuke don't want that need all the kills we can get I already killed one bomber and there's two let's go a max ammo don't mind if i do is there already like no zombies left in this round also my game's been running awful ever since i, I went to the dark aether we're gonna have to deal with it though oh shit i forgot rampage inducers that fast i'm sitting there looting and then they're already there i guess it's the same thing i was just complaining about before how slow they were now they're too fast for me i just can't make up my mind but now this is all we're gonna be doing sitting right here and jiggle aiming so dead shot can lock on oh my god the round's already over i love rampage inducer so much oh a double points don't mind if i do there's so much ammo in this thing it's actually disgusting the m16 so nice a nuke come on i didn't want that okay well at least the round ended and we're gonna get new spawns immediately uh oh i hear a megaton where you at megaton there you are easy ring of fire and he's already splitting <laughs> one shotted one shot with a pack a punch of one m16 on round 14 will split a mangler it's probably not that crazy of stats considering we're only on round 14 but anything one shotting a megaton is insane and i always get megaton and mangler mixed up their names are just so similar we already have 28k too now maybe if i can remember at the end of one of these rounds we'll leave a zombie and go pack a punch maybe get more perks too the rounds are too fast right now to stop let's go contamination camo we're making our way on these jackrabbit medals but another double points that'll help us with our pack a punch funds we'll grab by insta kill too why not we already have our field upgrade ready to go our drench camo 1500 kills while it's pack a punch so a thousand kills from here and we will be done with our pack a punch kills let me ring a fire reload please Thank you. Okay, we have one zombie left. I think this is the perfect opportunity for us to go pack a punch and grab perks. Because we're not going to get Wonder Fizz back until round 20. I think we did everything on round 10. So we have to wait 10 rounds. But here's pack two. Let's grab Cryo. I never showed off pack one. But this is what pack punch two looks like on the M16. I keep forgetting to show off pack a punch camos in these. Zombie, leave me alone. But this is pack two. Pretty clean on this, honestly. M16 is just a good looking weapon. But let's go ahead and try to find some perks that we're gonna need. We don't need elemental. I'll leave that there. We can grab speed cola when we end up getting back. But why can't I remember all the perk spawns in this? I know there's a jug. I think stamina up's right over here to the right. We don't really need it, but we might as well grab it in case we need to run. It'll definitely help with rampage inducer. It doesn't hurt to have it. Oh, actually, we can hit the anomaly. Let's hit the anomaly and then hit up Wonder Fizz. I think I'll grab like death perception and all that. Let's just train around. Hopefully the zombie falls over after we hit the anomaly. I'm pretty sure it will happen. I oh, know he just spawns over there. Let me just kill him and then grab this. Ooh, that's creepy. Death perception. I said we could grab speed cola back down there, but we're already here. We might as well buy it. But we have all the perks that we need now. I think it was a dog round that we came up here to do this. Did not plan for it. It just happened. Now we can kind of just leisurely make our way back down. I'm hoping we get lucky with one of these crystals, even though I don't know what we could want from it. We have all of our perks. If we get a wonder weapon, we're just kind of not going to use it. But there we go. Max ammo. The round just ended, so I need to make it back down there fast. These zombies do not play around in Rampage Inducer. I have a second to try to upgrade here. There's purple. Armor level two. Please grab it. Okay, maybe not. We're just gonna have to move. We'll get that later. And a nuke. Okay, maybe we'll get it now. Armor level two. Let's go. And that nuke's like, nah, why don't you go back and treat yourself? All right, stay lost. Oh, my Megaton's already gone. No ring of fire even on that one. Just the pure power of the M16. Oh, shit. I forgot about you guys. No. 
No. Stun. I'm already down. I can't see anything. I'm stuck in scrap. I probably should have taken that portal since it's here, but I'm not the smartest man. And well, we're just gonna have to deal with it now. We're gonna have to wait till our wonder fizz is back to go back up. We still have a self revive, which is good. Like we're not completely down and out. We just gotta be smarter. Hopefully another Megaton doesn't spawn this round, but we should be good. I don't think they spawn in back to back rounds this early. Which camo? We're getting really close on our jackrabbit medals. Grab all of these. Probably a bad idea to pick up an insta-kill while we don't have Ring of Fire ready, especially considering what just happened. But we just got to make it through. Also, the pack punch name for the M16 is Skull Splitter, and I feel like that's very fitting considering that this thing just absolutely shreds. Conviction camo. I think we're, we're done with our jackrabbits now, or at least insanely close. I'm pretty sure that's the last one, though. I can never remember. Probably buy decoys instead of stuns. Jeez, the reloading with this thing is going to get me killed. Okay. Uh, let's grab the nuke. Just give me a little more extra time. Grab this. So we're a little faster reloading. But our portal is here. So that means that Wonder Fizz is here. So let me try to survive this round and leave a zombie. So we can go get our perks back. Okay, we don't have very many zombies left. I think I think we just have one more. So I'll take the portal up. Where are we popping out at? Okay. Pretty decent spot. We can just run over here to the left. So we don't have to waste money buying a door. What's up, Wonder Fizz? Did I ever grab your loose change? I didn't. No, I did. Grab all this. And we had just enough to get everything back. At least everything that we needed. Oh, I didn't know there was an M16 wall by here. I would have just bought it off the wall to save myself the salvage. Oh, well, speaking of salvage, let's repair our armor and let's get a level three. We probably could have just got a level three and not repaired it and saved it, but whatever. Back to the grind. Let's see. We have 430 crits out of 665 eliminations. That's not that bad. We don't have a ring of fire though for this Megaton, which is very scary, but we can get him to split right here. And hopefully as he's splitting, we can get this ring of fire up so we don't get cornered by the two bombers again. Please stun. There we go. Ring of fire. Perfect timing. I can't imagine grinding camos with any other, like, field upgrade. Unless it was, like, a sniper and I'm using, like, Tesla Storm or something. But Ring of Fire is just so clutch. It's literally the best. Where's a decoy, though? I'm gonna start collecting decoys instead of stuns. Is there another puppy round? We just had one. Wish I could get crits on these bad boys. Just to get a few extra. Now we're just on the road to saving up for pack three. And we'll be good to go. Oh, double points. That'll help us. I hate that. I hate that it still forces me to reload and ring a fire even if it's only pulling from my ammo pool. I'm not even using the ammo in that mag. Why do I need to reload? We should be able to get pack three by like the next round. We're kind of raking in cash at the moment. Uh, ring a fire, go. What the fuck was that? No. Decoy. Jeez. I went to go knife a plague hound and it sent my cursor way in the air and I just did not know where I was. That's ridiculous. Game just tried to get me killed. All right, we have enough to get pack three, but I did not leave a zombie, so... We're gonna have to wait. Oh, there's a nuke right in our door. We're gonna have to hit it to go get pack punch anyways. Fuck it. Let's do it. Make a run for it. Oh, really quick. Grab it. Let's go. Please, Megaton, don't spawn. We don't need you spawning from the left because then I can't get my free shots on you. Okay, cool. It's not spawning. I need to grab all this scrap, though. I can't let it go to waste. And ring of fire immediately. I'll show off this pack punch camo as soon as I can. Here we go. We got the tactical rifle master. We're using one tack rifle. There's our rotten camo. Okay. We're already at a thousand kills this game. Uh-oh. Megaton showed up right as our ring of fire was done, but good thing we have pack three to deal with them now. There we go. He's splitting. That gives me enough time to build up this ring of fire again. There we go. Easy. Okay. We're chilling. We're big chilling. <laughs> we just one tapped them both. All right. Well, I have one second. This is what pack three looks like on the M16. It's very nice. There's zombies already on my ass, but one more look. There you go. Soak it in. Now we got to go back to grinding. We have so many crits to get still. Come on, reload a little faster, please. There we go. We're doing pretty decent on crits, I think. I, I'm still seeing a lot of white text pop up, though. I think it's just because of the burst and then zombies being closer and further away. Some are getting the low ends of the burst. Some are getting the high ends of the burst getting headshotted. It'll happen. It's still faster than anything else we'd be doing. We're at 789 crits right now. That's not bad. Just need to double that, which seems like a lot. But once we start hitting like 30s, we're going to get a lot of zombies spawned in each round i really gotta just stop picking up insta kill though it's really screwing me not having that ring of fire ready to go and if just a stray bullet hits a zombie they're immediately dead there's no crit happening this gun's already like insta kill as long as i hit him in the head let's grab these double points just so we have insurance money in case we go down again probably grab uh elemental pop pretty soon here oh there's threshold 1500 crits so we're at 1852 we will be done with our crits but we only have a few zombies left in the round i'm gonna go grab elemental pop mainly i don't get elemental pop because it does mess with our crits like it'll it'll just kill the zombie or like brain rot will get the kill or whatever but the electric cherry helps out so much like when i start to get cornered there and if i don't have a ring of fire it just gives me that one extra second and now uh since we're getting into the 30s the pistol isn't going to cut it for a quick revive so we, we need to electric cherry a zombie to get back up if we end up 
down without a self revive. We have made it to round 30 and it's another dog round. Wow. Also, uh, since there's a little downtime here, since there's a dog round, I just want to say the comments in the last video were really weird. Not like the comments you guys were leaving, but the way that they were sorted because I felt like the top comments were all buried underneath just other comments. So I don't, I don't know the way it was all organized on that video, but it made it kind of difficult choosing. I, I did have to go through and see that a lot of it was the M79, but it just made my job a little more difficult. So I also saw people commenting, where's Cam's comment? Where's Cam? Since Cam has had like a top comment on every video, the last four videos in a row. So everyone's like, wait a minute, where's Cam? Something's wrong. So the comment section was all kinds of messed up last time. Okay, we actually have a crawler here. Do we have anything we need to do? Maybe we should upgrade our weapon and repair our armor. Can I get this gold? First repair the armor and we can get a gold. Let's go. We're all set. Sit down, crawler. Where's this Megaton at? I heard it spawn. I guess it's always going to spawn in that window if I'm in this room. I'm glad I already have my ring of fire going. So he's splitting. Hopefully he will be done splitting by time. Oh no. Ring of fire already ran out. Let me throw a decoy. Another chemical camo. So we are done with pack punch now. That was fast. Oh, please die. I don't need this bullshit. Ring of fire. That was such a clutch time for ring of fire to be ready to use. Oh my lance. So he was right at the door and his buddy was already inside. Don't take that out of context. Now we're in the very mindless part of this grind. I mean, I guess we've been in it for a while, but now we have no upgrades to get. We have no reason to leave this room unless it's to repair armor, but we'll probably get a carpenter for that. Just got to really focus on getting these crits and then getting out of here. Remember, my goal to get out of here was like 43, I'm pretty sure. It was early 40s, so hopefully we can still keep true to that. I think we just broke the 1,000 crits. Yep, we did. We need 800 more, like 850. I'm starting to notice the armor damage being an issue uh, with uh, armored zombies pulling up and me not being able to do enough damage to them. Holy shit, hold on. I know the barrel I'm using is probably better for everything else, but it's not doing the same amount of damage to these armor zombies. That is the one downfall of this weapon. But I still think this build is very nice. Like, it, I mean, armor zombies are still easy to kill, but it's it's very noticeable when, when one shows up, which I think it should be, honestly. Needs to be a little variation. But every time I see one of those armored zombies, at least on this map, I don't know if they're all the same models or like other maps, but the helmet on the armored zombie reminds me of the PUBG like level three helmet. That thing was iconic. We just need a frying pan to protect us from sniper shots now. Grab these double points. We'll just start raking it in. We're already at 120,000, but why not have more? Why am I still having to reload in the ring of fire? Help! There we go. Oh, and a max ammo spawns after I'm done reloading my mag. Thanks. That one got close. I need to manage my ammo a little better. Gotta throw a decoy if I gotta reload. Okay, throwing one. I have 30 bullets. We reload that. Uh, didn't finish the reload. Ended up canceling it, but we still got it off. Easy round. We're on round 37 though. We're getting extremely close to when I I thought we'd be out of here and we still need a lot of crits. We're at 1,343. Reload now. My armor is completely busted. Need to go repair that soon. We also need this Megaton to split already so I can kill it. Thank you. Can you get into my sight please? There you go. Another Megaton spawning. Uh-oh. Nope. Decoy, go. Everybody on the decoy. Okay, we got a ring of fire back just in the nick of time. Who's Nick and why is he on time? Oh, we're just barely scraping through this. Surely a carpenter will spawn and I don't have to make any effort to leave this room, right? I ain't trying to go anywhere. Go to the decoy. Go to the decoy, you dumb fucks. What the hell? What the fuck was that? Um, Any zombie want to get electric cherry? There we go. Okay, we'll just have to survive here. We're gonna have to leave one. The good thing we have just that shot left. Okay, I'm going up. Looks like we only have like a few zombies left anyways. Might be more than a few though. Playcon's trying to chase us. Yeah, seemingly more than a few. There is a lot left. I probably pre-jacked on that portal because I still had a ring of fire going. Ah, uh, shit in my ass. This is not where I want to be. I cannot survive penthouse. I'm going spawn. That way I can have a nice count of how many zombies are left. Oh my god, they're jumping in front of my head? Relax. I'm not turning rampage inducer off though. I'm no bitch. We're just going to play this a little smarter because I, I know my skill set. I know what I can do and penthouse is not something that I can do. Oh my god, I thought I had fists. Picking up the Sigma was an awful idea. I lose that extra movement speed. I do have three decoys, so let's try this. There we go. That's a decent amount of zombies. Okay. We're getting down to the wire here. Let's kill the sprinter guy. If you're going to be fast, you're going to be dead. Pretty sure these are our last zombies. Let's just take out a few of them. Okay, we'll leave these two. Two is a good number for me because I know I'll accidentally end up killing one of them at least. All right, let's get everything back. There we go. Let's hit the anomaly just for fun. Admire the dark aether for a second. Sick. I'm starting to think maybe they strayed away from the dark aether like world area is to try to distance themselves from... Uh, stranger things that didn't look like they're trying to take from that too much this is like exactly like the upside down or exactly how it works what are the chances that the dark aether is exactly like the actual world just 
Dark Aether. What is that? A bedpan? Also, dog rounds look so much better than the Dark Aether. You're not clouded by that green fart mist. Dark Aether is just superior. All right, round 40. We're at 1,519 crits. If we can somehow get enough within these next three rounds, I will be uh, clairvoyant. I'll be a zombie's clairvoyant man. I don't, a clairvoyantist? What is the, what is the term for that? Oh no, it's making us leave the Dark Aether. Why? Let me stay. They all fell over, grabbed the double points. Haha, -ha, idiots. Gotta reload. And we're all good. It was a perfectly timed decoy. At 41, we're getting close. Bring a fire, please. There we go. Take a little reload while we have a little bit of time. Oh, shit. Decoy, go! We're not going down again. No, sir, not a chance. We'll even need to get our ring of fire back up because we have a Megaton entering the same room as us. Oh, please split. Please fucking split. I need you to not be in here. Ring of fire. Oh, my Lanta. Decoy going out as well. I just need to deal with these two. Oh my god, we just barely made it out of that. Holy shit. That was rough. That was so scary. He was actually in here, non-split, full health. Might have missed out on a few crits throwing that nade, but it was, it, it was worth it to save my own life. Now we're out of decoys, which is a huge, huge problem. Not when we have a nuke, though. Can I find a decoy? There's a decoy on the ground. Perfect. Well, we have a nuke, though. I'm gonna go repair my armor. Okay, perfect timing on that. We have one round to get the rest of the crits. How many am I at? Oh, actually, it could be possible. We just need 100. Are there are 100 zombies in this round. Last zombie is the set. Round 43. We still have till the end of this round to get it. We're at 1,761 crits. Extremely close. If I can get it in this round, I'm actually a savant. Come on. Give me the crits. Show me the crits. And then show me Gold Viper. That's all we need. No! The nuke might have just ruined the dream. We're at 1,801. How many zombies are left in this round? Please say there's at least 50. And we need 58 more. That nuke definitely killed at least 50, which is extremely unfortunate, but actually, maybe there's enough. I'm still gonna be hopeful. Come on. Level up? This is it. Show me Gold Viper right here, baby. Just an organic level up? No Gold Viper? Or is there, I'm just getting too many medals. There it is, let's go! We did it, I'm actually clairvoyant. I'm clairvoyant as fuck. Gold Viper, baby. On round 43, I called I called the max ammo. I called the round that we would get Gold Viper on. It's just me and who's a philosopher? Aristotle? Aristotle's a bitch compared to me. Where am I going? I don't even know what I'm doing now. I ran up here like there was going to be an expo ready. I may be a philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not dumb. I got too excited. Okay, I'll try to hold out till the next exfil. It's not too far away. But I did go by Gersh's. I thought it was going to be an next fill. All right, let's see if we can survive. It's just two more rounds. Usually whenever we get Gold Viper, everything falls apart. But so far, so good. Throwing a Gersh. Eat my ass. Easiest cheese spot. And there's a Megaton. He needs to die. There we go. Go ahead, split. Split a little faster, though. My Ring of Fire is running out. There we go. All right, one round to go. We just got to complete this round, and we're out of here. A little Gersh and an insta-kill. Could be the easiest round yet. We could probably just go on forever with this, honestly. We're kind of smacking cheeks around. And these are the last zombies in the round. Okay, one last one. I'm going to head up. That way I can go ahead and grab my Gersh's and maybe I'll even grab a death machine or something. We got plenty of scrap. Uh, we got plenty of salvage to use. Okay, double Gersh. I'll we'll get on nades. Let's get a death machine just in case. Kill the zombies and start the exfil. Let's get out of here. Later zombies. Don't need ya. We do have a ring of fire though. So let's find a good spot to use it at. I think right here is probably good. Throw a Gersh now. I'm gonna take out the Megaton while we're in here. Oh, this is easy. There's only eight zombies left. Jeez, you split slow, Megaton. Get out of here. That's easiest. Oh, shit. I was right under the helicopter. The easiest x of my life. Let's get out of here. Take a look at our final stats. 3,000 elimination, 2,400 and 2,043 crits and two downs. Not bad. We actually did really well there. All right, let's take a look at what the M16 looks like with these mastery camos. Here is Gold Viper. I do have a blueprint on it currently, but when we get in game, I will not. You can still see the coverage on it. It's pretty decent, but uh, same criticism I have with this than I did with the Mac 10. The mag definitely needs the camo on it. That's a huge open space of just nothing. It looks very bland. Hopefully it looks better in game, but here is Plague Diamond. Plague Diamond does it right. It always does. Always have the best coverage here. Plague Diamond, very, very sick. And Dark Aether is beautiful as ever. Always is, always will be. Probably the one of my favorite mastery camos ever. This thing is just awesome. But we are one attack rifle down out of four, so that's pretty good. We're making our way into another weapon class. Uh, we have three classes done out of nine. It, it may seem like we're far off from Dark Aether, but 
good. Those classes come on fast. But let's go ahead, hop in game, and see what this thing looks like in there with Gold Viper. All right, here's what the M16 looks like in game with Gold Viper. And like I said, definitely looks way better in game than it does in the Gunsmith. I don't think the Gunsmith does a lot of these camos justice, but this thing looks really, really nice. Uh, with a smaller mag, it's a lot less noticeable that the camo doesn't cover it. This is just a default M16, no attachments on it. But this thing's really, really good looking, actually. I feel like Gold Viper looks a lot different on console than it does on PC. I think there's like some graphic settings that makes the gold just not pop as much, but this is not bad, I'll be honest. But there you go. We got our first hack rifle done in the M16. And just a reminder, we will be doing the M79 as a stream, attempting to go for round 100 on it. So be on the lookout for that. But with that, I'm going to have to end the video here. So if you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please start to subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.